let's take another trip. This time to see how ice cream is made. The story begins in farms like this one, where pedigreed stock all record milk producers provide the fine cream necessary for the best ice cream. The cows are carefully cleansed and mechanical milking machines take the milk from the cow directly into the covered containers. Conveniently located creameries are only a short haul from the dairy farms. Here the cream is separated from the milk and immediately chilled for shipment in refrigerated stainless steel trucks to the ice cream plant. Here the pure cream that is only hours old is poured into the blending tanks and our ice cream is on the way. Next, the blended cream is passed through a series of fine stainless steel mesh in this big filter. The blended cream is now subjected to a temperature of 250 degrees Fahrenheit in this pasteurizer. This finely equipped laboratory serves as the daily control of every step in the production from raw materials to finished ice cream to ensure a perfectly balanced product of uniform goodness. Here, samples are measured for butter fat and food solids content. These technicians test every batch to assure it has been completely pasteurized. Next step, homogenization. These machines break up the little butterfat particles and make the ice cream rich, nutritious, and easily digested. These flying pistons produce a pressure of 2,500 pounds per square inch for the homogenization process. Now the mix is rapidly cooled to 35 degrees in giant continuous coolers like this before it is pumped into gleaming holding tanks. The best part of ice cream is delicious flavor. Nothing but fresh fruits used at the peak of their goodness flavor America's favorite ice cream. These bananas, for instance, brought by the shipload from South and Central America and Cuba. Tree ripened oranges, full of rich flavor and vitamins from basking in the semi-tropical sunshine. This automatic squeezer zips out the juice in no time. Sun sweet strawberries, fresh as the morning dew, crushed to give their full natural flavor to the cream. This is a typical strawberry patch, many of which are projects of members of 4-H clubs all over the United States. Every box is carefully inspected. And then additional luscious whole morsels of the fresh fruit are fed in by this special machine. Ripe peaches, blushing darlings from the nation's finest orchards. What could be finer? Doesn't that make your mouth water? You can almost smell their heavenly odor. In nut ice cream too, only prize kernels of the season's finest crop are ever used. These choice selected almonds are roasted to taste and bathed in fresh creamery butter to make delicious buttered almond ice cream. Here is the flavoring room where the fresh fruits and other flavors are added to the blended cream. To supply fresh strawberry ice cream year round, field inspectors spend practically 12 months a year following the growing seasons and contracting for the cream of every crop. Did you ever notice tiny black specks in vanilla ice cream? That is proof that not vanilla extract, but finely chopped real vanilla bean, vastly more flavorful, has been used. Vanilla is of the orchid family and blooms beautifully. These beans are drying in the hot Mexican sunshine to develop their flavor. The dried beans are chopped in readiness for the day's production of real vanilla cream. Here go those oranges blending smoothly and deliciously to make fresh fruit orange ice. A quick energy food and so cool and refreshing. Caracas chocolate, grown in Venezuela, South America, is the finest for flavor the world over. That is why this chocolate ice cream is known for its matchless flavor. 
Here we have ice cream in all these delicious flavors. But how are we going to package it? Oh, yes, that's already been thought of to the tune of 100 million packages a year. This is the largest bulk ice cream freezing room in the world, with a capacity of over a million quarts per week. Freezing is instantaneous and continuous. Conveyors carry the ice cream to the hardening room, where 30 degrees below zero is maintained. Here, the ice cream is made ready for delivery. But bulk ice cream is only part of the story. Meet the party dessert supreme, fresh strawberry or raspberry tarts, generous individual portions of vanilla, topped with a fresh berry flavor and crowned with whipped cream. Or maybe you prefer your favorite flavors in half gallons or the popular pint packages. Did I hear a small boy or girl say Briar Dixie's? You bet. Two flavors, chocolate and vanilla, automatically filled and sealed just like those 10 quart containers you saw a minute ago. Brick ice cream solves the problem of serving large groups more easily. Each individual portion is wrapped and gathered for packaging in quarts and gallons. And who hasn't eaten an ice cream sandwich? Sugary chocolate wafers with a thick chunk of ice cream between. This machine has to hurry to keep up with hungry appetites. Sparkling packages are hermetically heat sealed. Is this still another form of ice cream? Well, of course, Choco Pops, ice cream on a stick. First, freezing molds are filled with vanilla ice cream. Then sticks are inserted, one for each mold. The frozen Choco Pops are lifted from the molds. Next, a dip in rich chocolate. Then they are hermetically heat sealed in packages at the rate of nearly 10,000 per hour. With all this preparation of good things to eat, we need a lot of good housekeeping too. In this modern ice cream plant, every piece of stainless steel tubing, valve, coupling, and part of freezer coming in contact with the product is dismantled, scoured, and sterilized after each day's operation. The horn of plenty. What could better express the abundance of good things from the four corners of the earth? Fresh fruits and berries, meaty nuts, flavorful beans, tangy mint that go into America's favorite ice cream. Incidentally, I hope when I get home tonight, I'll find the same delicious treat that millions of housewives will be dishing out from those money-saving half-gallon containers. Good old Briar's Ice Cream. Thank you.